If you're living with diabetes, you know the daily challenges. Carefully planning your meals, making sure to eat quality protein for breakfast, noticing how a poor night's sleep can send your body sugar levels through the roof, and of course, regular doctor visits and adjustments to your treatment plan. But scientists at Stanford University have just made a discovery that could transform how we approach diabetes care. They've developed an artificial intelligence system that can do something remarkable. It can predict your unique type of diabetes just by analyzing your glucose patterns at home. If you've ever felt let down by the level of care and advice you get from your doctor, this could be a game changer. This isn't just another small step forward in diabetes research, it's a massive paradigm shift on how we understand and treat this condition that affects half a billion people worldwide. First of all, let's look at why traditional diabetes care is becoming obsolete. For decades, doctors have mainly divided diabetes into two categories. Type 1, which often appears in childhood, and Type 2, which typically develops later in life. But groundbreaking research has revealed something fascinating about Type 2 diabetes and even prediabetes. People's bodies can develop high blood sugar for completely different reasons. Some people's muscles don't respond well to insulin, others have issues with how their pancreas produces insulin, and some have problems with hormones that control blood sugar. Yet until now, most people with type 2 diabetes or prediabetes received similar treatments. Because we've been limited in our ability to understand these crucial differences. This means that people might not be getting the most effective treatment for their specific type of diabetes. Think about it. Two people with exactly the same blood sugar readings might need completely different treatments because their bodies handle glucose differently. This is why scientists decided to use artificial intelligence to tackle this challenge. Stanford University researchers have developed an AI system that can identify your specific type of diabetes by looking at patterns in your glucose levels. But here's what makes this truly revolutionary. It works with a simple continuous glucose monitor that you can wear at home. No complex hospital tests required. The AI analyzes how your body responds to sugar throughout the day creating a detailed picture of your unique metabolic profile. And in clinical studies, this AI system showed remarkable accuracy. It predicted insulin resistance with 95% accuracy, identified beta cell dysfunction with 89% accuracy, and detected impaired incretin action with 88% accuracy. These aren't just numbers, they represent a fundamental shift in how deeply we can understand and treat diabetes. So what does this mean for you? This breakthrough means that your diabetes treatment could soon become much more personalized. Instead of using a one-size-fits-all approach, your doctor could use AI insights to choose treatments that match your body's specific needs. For example, the AI might reveal that your body has trouble with insulin resistance, or that your pancreas isn't producing enough insulin, or that you have issues with incretin hormones. Each of these patterns requires different treatment approaches, and now for the first time, we can identify these patterns easily and accurately. The process is surprisingly simple. You wear a continuous glucose monitor similar to the ones many diabetics already use. The AI analyzes your glucose patterns over a number of days and creates a detailed profile of exactly how your body handles sugar. This information helps your healthcare team understand what type of diabetes you actually have, which treatments are most likely to work for you, and how to adjust your care plan for better results. And the best part? This testing can be done while you go about your everyday life, making it accessible to more people who desperately need it. Let's break down what these different types mean for your treatment. 
If the AI shows you have muscle insulin resistance, it means your muscles aren't responding well to insulin signals. Think of insulin as a key trying to unlock your muscle cells to get sugar in, but the lock isn't working properly. For this type, physical activity can be particularly powerful, as exercise helps your muscles respond better to insulin. Medications like metformin or certain newer diabetes drugs might work especially well for you. But if you have beta cell dysfunction, your pancreas isn't producing enough insulin in the first place. This is likely having fewer keys available to unlock those cell doors. For this type, protecting your remaining insulin production becomes crucial. You might respond better to medications that help boost insulin production or that lower blood sugar in other ways. The third type involves problems with incretin hormones, which help control how your body handles sugar after meals. Think of these hormones as the conductors in an orchestra, coordinating your body's response to food. If you have this type, you might respond particularly well to newer medications that work with these hormones, like GLP-1 receptor agonists, which many people also find helpful for maintaining a healthy weight. The fourth type involves hepatic insulin resistance, where your liver isn't responding properly to insulin. This can cause your liver to release too much sugar, especially overnight or between meals. For this type, certain dietary strategies can be particularly helpful, like timing your meals properly. Of course, regardless of your type, some basics remain important. Limiting refined carbohydrates like white bread and sugary breakfast cereals, staying active, getting enough sleep, and managing stress. These are all vital, but knowing your specific type helps you and your healthcare team focus on the strategies most likely to work for you. The AI analyzes thousands of glucose readings to identify these patterns, making it more accurate than traditional wisdom in matching you with the right treatment approach. This breakthrough opens up exciting possibilities for diabetes care. Earlier detection of diabetes risk, more precise treatment choices, better prevention strategies, and most importantly, better outcomes for people living with diabetes. While this technology is still being refined for widespread use, it's an exciting leap in the right direction. We'll stay on top of this technology as it advances, so if you haven't already, click subscribe and turn notifications on so that you don't miss our future videos. And if you appreciate our work, please click the like button and it really does help us. Next, you might like to watch our video on the ultimate morning drink to boost blood sugar control, or learn about the link between high blood sugar and Alzheimer's disease, including important steps you can take to protect your brain right now.